Yeah, and Parking so that lot. this is not in my. It's it's all over. Hello, I'm Tom Phillips. This is Salem Songwriter Sessions. We're here at Guitar Center, and our guest is Sophia Talvik. Hi, Tom. Hi. <laughs> Sophia. Hi, Tom. So, you're from Stockholm, Sweden. Yep. And you're here in Salem, Oregon. Mm -hmm. How'd you get here? And why are you here? <laughs> well, I got here by plane and an RV. <laughs> because I'm on a two-year tour and my, my tour is called Driving and Dreaming, so I'm driving this old RV around the country and playing, you know, everywhere. So, we finally got to the West Coast, so here I am. Oh, great. Yeah. And now, Dreaming. We know you got your driving. <laughs> what are you dreaming about? Well, I guess that, you know, it will be a little bit easier on the next gig and the next gig and the next gig. <laughs> yeah. said when he turned down your prayer can you feel what the mother felt and when she let down her hair it's a garden no good and evil while we stay it's a highway of endless choices where we go by
Never turn down a call for help. Always know what they're for. You can leave your shoes by the road. You don't need them no more. And I don't know what you're looking for, but it's not here. Shut your eyes to the sun It will shine through your mind If you leave everything behind Everything's what you'll find And I don't know what you're looking for But it's not here anymore Your love is wasted in a thousand ways And you get wasted every single day It's a highway, love and less choices where we go that way. And I don't know what you're looking for, but it's not here anymore. Your love is wasted in a thousand ways, and you get wasted every single day. And it's gone. It's a highway, love and less choices where we go back. So as far as Stockholm is concerned, which is your home, uh, are you very popular there? Well, I, I'm fairly well known in Sweden. I mean, the folk genre is not that a big genre in Sweden. So, well, in my genre, I'm, I'm kind of well known, yeah. But uh, I mean, the US is so much bigger. So it's, I guess I got a bigger audience here and I've always had better response here uh, to my music and my albums. And so I figured, this was kind of the natural step for me to come here and just tour mm -hmm. and try to see what happens, you know? My father says an artist is some
So have you enjoyed going to different parts of the United States? Do you see a cultural difference uh, uh, throughout the United States? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, you got the Southern hospitality, of course, down mm -hmm. in the South. It was, we really enjoyed being there because everyone is really friendly. All over the U.S. people are friendly, but they're, you know, different places are even more friendly. So, you know, they will invite you for grits and shrimp and stuff. Mm. And so that's nice. And I mean, um, uh, with the nature and all, it's just wonderful how different it is in different places, like the Idaho mountains. And, and now when you come here to the coast and it's just, you know, so different everywhere. Yeah. It's such a big country. It is. And I, I was thinking about that shrimps and grit. I had some of that in North <laughs> Carolina. It was oh, just awesome. <laughs> have you written any songs uh, while you've been in the United States that maybe the United States have inspired you or people in the United States have inspired you? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't have a lot of time to write while, while I'm on the road, mm -hmm. but I've started out a few songs. I've written a few songs and I have like a half finished songs. And so in December, I'm actually going to take a little break and try to finish all the songs that I started. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so maybe that will be a U.S. album someday. There you go. Never know. <laughs> so, um, what is it? What does inspire you as a songwriter? Well, you know, it's life, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything. Uh, I think it's so hard to say that, you know, this song is about this or this song is about that. Uh, for me, it's just like millions of little impressions and it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you get some from your own feelings and maybe some from, you know, your friends or something you saw on TV. Uh, mm -hmm. something that happened the other day, whatever, you know. It's just like a mishmash of everything that's going on around you. Hmm. Now, speaking of TV, I, you know, t talking to you, it seems like the United States has a, the, uh, quite an impact on your television in Sweden. <laughs> Is that true? Because you, you even wrote a song about Twin, Twin Peaks, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually re-watching mm -hmm. that um, TV show right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we get a lot of, of U.S. shows and, and TV shows and, you know, uh, series and stuff. Um, and uh, I guess the difference between Sweden and, and most of the rest of Europe is, you know, that we don't overdub stuff. So we only have the subtitles, so we get to hear people speak English all the time on TV, too. Well, you speak pretty good English. Thank you. Yeah, I was Pretty just... good? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you said the other. You I'm said just kidding. you told me the other night that you didn't understand half of what I just said. So well, I you had a bunch of like medical terms and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> you're like my intestines, this and that. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> i 
So you had told me when you were younger, you actually uh, played piano. Yeah. And you started out on piano. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us a little well, bit about that? Yeah, well, you know, my grandma was a piano teacher, so it was kind of the natural thing for me to play, I guess. And um, so I, I play the like classical stuff um, from when I was about eight years old. And I did that for a bunch of years. And then when I was a teenager, I kind of, you know, got tired of doing that. I wanted to do something else. So mm -hmm. I wanted a guitar for my 18th birthday and I got one and I started, you know, writing songs to learn how to play. So your classical training at the piano, did that influence you as far as in your ability to write? music um, mm, at all? I don't think so. I mean, um, I was playing, you know, after the note sheets and stuff and uh, just like after 10 years I kind of realized that all this time I've been playing by ear mm -hmm. more than playing after the note sheets. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, I kind of wanted to break away from that. So I guess that's why I wanted to play the guitar. It's something completely different from the piano. Yeah, because because a lot of songwriters, you have songwriters out there that are very classically trained, and they they structure songs and melody um, based on you know their their training and all. And then you have other singer songwriters that really go from the heart. Mm -hmm. So my assumption is that your your melodies come from your heart. Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, because I played mostly classical music, so it's kind of far from the folk. Yeah. Music I'm playing now. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I you did. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, mm -hmm. and that is, uh, you uh, sang a uh, folk song, uh -huh. <laughs> and um, and it's just to me it blows me away. I mean, it's just so cool. Uh, <laughs> such a great song, and when uh, we were uh, at the radio station, you sang just a little bit of it, and then uh, the other night. Uh, uh, performing, you sang the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Could you give us just that right now, just that little bite of, <laughs> of some uh, Swedish yeah. folk song? Okay, sure. Let me just take a tone. You can do a cappella if you like. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Ut i vår hage där växa blåbär Kom hjärtans fröjd Vill du mig något så träffas vi där Kom lille oroa kvilleja Kom rosor och saliviga Kom ljuva kryssmynta, kom hjärtans fröjd. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Thank and you. What's the, what's the meaning behind that? Well, it's like an old uh, love song and, and um, the lady is singing to her lover and she says that if you, if you want to come and meet me, come to the meadow tonight where the blueberries grow and the lilies and the roses and she says all the different names of the flowers and so she says, if you want to meet me, come to the meadow. Well, I like yeah. these Swedish folk songs. <laughs> <laughs> Punishing you 
stubble, the torture that you don't even see. That the rift in our bed is seven miles wide, and I'm on the edge, and have been for a while. So hard. Just too darn proud. Will you build me a bridge, and I will come around. So. Thank you for uh, being willing to be on the show with us. Um, Thank you. And uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you and, and your husband, Jonas, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Tom. Because so, I don't have it written, I didn't have it written down. Yeah, I'll just go, yeah. I'll just take that note out. You want to do that intro again, one last time, one other option? Yeah. You feel from, that? From this angle? Yeah. That way you're not. Are we all around? Oh no, I don't have the camera. I can should be really different. Yeah. <laughs> Somersault. So I'm gonna come down when I introduce yeah. her. Yeah. Please, please okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all videotape, whatever. I don't care. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. 